Hey friends, welcome to Friday. Welcome to Black Friday, Thanksgiving weekend. This is one of the biggest weekends of the year. I got a bit of a shorter video than I typically do on a Friday. I know there's lots going on with family and you know, you're out there shopping. So just a quick one coming for you today, but we're definitely gonna look at at least half of the league's jerseys because this series by Aaron is called the Earned Series, which from my understanding is kind of dedicated to just the teams that made the playoffs last year. So you earned the right to get a jersey concept kind of thing. I think if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, that's what this series is. It was submitted a while ago, so I uh, do my best here. We'll see, I guess, as we go through these. I've not seen these before. It is going to be a reaction video. I need to open these up on my computer, get them going, but I got an announcement. You've heard me say it last Friday, the day before that, it's Black Friday, which means the template that you're gonna see in this video, the jersey template, is currently 50% off over at sportstemplates.net. Make sure you go over there before the Black Friday sale ends. Get this jersey template if you don't have it already. Get some other templates, you know, even if you have this one, you look over the site, there's all kinds of templates on the site. 50% off the biggest sale that they've ever done over on sportstemplates.net. Right now, Black Friday sale, this is the time to load up on some templates. So head on over, take a peek, and then come up with a full series, a full set of whatever template, whatever league, whatever you wanna do, come up with a full set and send it in to me and I will review it, rank it, or react to it here on the channel. Details on how to do that are down below in the description. Okay, let's jump into this one. Bring up the first one and it just says AA patch. So he's created his own patch here, <laughs> Stanley Cup earned 2022. Okay, so you know, a little, little extra, a little bonus one here for, for our start. So the first one is typically Arizona, or I guess Anaheim rather, sorry. But I guess since Anaheim didn't make the playoffs last year, we're not gonna see Anaheim. What's the first one? Boston, BOS, okay. Well, all right. And it's got look, the back of the neck. You can see earned back there. First impressions, I do definitely like it. Got some retro vibes, some historic vibes in here. The shoulders are absolutely different, but because of the same general size and thickness as the stripes on the arms and the bottom of the jersey, there's just a really good balance, I think, all over. So yeah, I mean, we're off to a good start here. So I, on my right screen here, I just see a file name. So Carolina is next. Let's see what the Carolina's gonna be. Oh, wrong, wrong window. Carolina is going with the Hartford Whalers uh, inspired, but with Carolina Hurricanes colors. We've seen a lot of concepts like this. I think it's a very logical choice and I'm sure they'll do it someday, but I'm just, I'm kind of not ready for it. I just, I know it's coming, but I just want, uh, I think we're done with the Hartford Whalers appreciation. Let's just let it sleep and rest here for, for a little bit, but the crossover is a nice one. Let's move on to the next one. Calgary Flames, I mean, this is similar to the reverse retro that just got released, actually. Shoulder patch on there looks really good. Uh, the arms are just brilliant. I love the arms. This is great. This is my favorite so far, for sure. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. So, um, I explained this, I think it was at last Friday, maybe in the Jersey Concept video, where the Quebec Nordiques actually were going through a rebranding phase prior to them moving to the uh, Colorado, or becoming the Colorado Avalanche. And it was announced and everything. There's photos of the jersey. So we almost had it. If they had have lasted one more year, that's basically the logo that we would have gotten. Now it, it wouldn't have said Avalanche on there, it would have said Nordiques. But this is an interesting kind of callback to history here by Aaron. And um, I mean, it looks it looks pretty good. It's, it's a little bit all over the place uh, with the colors. I find the burgundy and the black striping don't work for me on the arms too much. Uh, and I would keep the blue all the way down in the middle. Um, maybe, just, maybe just decrease the size of the striping of the burgundy and the black on the arms and just have the blue all the way down in the middle with no stripes at all. I think it would, personally it would be uh, much better for me. Next is the Dallas Stars. Wow, there are some intricate designs in the background. That is crazy. Look at the uh, look at the arms. Just it starts out so small and just kind of expands. I wonder how that would actually look, appear on a jersey, just how, the way that light plays off a jersey and stuff. I wonder if it would be distracting. It would have to be very subtle. I could have, this is a risky, this is a risky decision. I think it works in a concept kind of, uh, you know, stage that we're looking at it here, but in person in a physical Jersey, I don't know. I, I can't answer that until it's created. Uh, the next one, I mean, okay, let's see when these were designed. This file was created on June 28th at 9.51 PM is when he created this concept. And uh, that was obviously months before the reverse retros were released. So there you have it, a pretty good prediction. Uh, maybe not an intentional prediction, but a pretty good prediction here from Aaron. And this one's great. I think the one that they made is better than this. No offense, Aaron, but this is definitely very good. Uh, nothing to complain about here, I don't think. Next, 
Florida Panthers. All righty. All righty. I like the captain uh, little badge on there. That looks really good. It's the Miami Vice themed, uh, as we see very frequently um, with, with concept designers. It's, it's going to happen. It's, just, it's only a matter of time. They, they have to do it. There's too many people who want it. There's to just keep if you if you're one of the people who really love it and you really want it, pester the, the Florida Panthers on social media. Let them know that you want it. This is pretty aggressive. I would uh, I would purchase this if, if it was if it existed. Next, the LA Kings going a little bit subtle here. Uh, love the shoulder patch. That's really good. Uh, the texture that's in the stripes is not for me i think i would um i think i would pass on that little bit of a uh, texture even though it's it's very transparent and stuff it's still still not for me uh the rest of the jersey is fine and dandy moving on to the minnesota wild wow look at those arms i'm just sitting here looking at this thing i'm trying to decide would this be a better this would be a better stadium series i don't i think it's too sharp for a winter classic so I'm thinking like stadium series or it's just, it's very modern. So I could see, I could see this, uh, this maybe, I wonder if, you know, just, just kind of going through this, I'm just kind of talking aloud here. I wonder if the NHL teams would fly for every year, you come up with a specialty Jersey for the playoffs that you only wear in the playoffs and nobody sees until the playoffs. So you got to get to the playoffs to wear the Jersey. And this is, you know, this is, Kind of maybe what his series is based on. You got to earn it. You got to earn the right to wear this sweater or this jersey. I don't know. I mean, this is that's some, that's something really interesting to think about. And then you got to think: Would they sell it? Would they make it available for a retail uh, purchase from a fan? Then there's that becomes really complicated. If you're already having trouble producing jerseys, if you're Adidas uh, or whoever else takes over. I don't know, but I think it would be really cool from from a fan. I we, we would like it, wouldn't we? Moving on to the National Predators. Wow, this one is really cool. Look at that burgundy in there. That is so complimentary. Just ties in nice with that that tongue in the in the predator there. Don't love the shoulder patch, just personal preference of the script font. The slash striping in the arms looks really good. Now the checker pattern that you see in the background, it's very, very subtle. But that comes from a jersey that they wore, I don't even remember the year, but it was in a, in a striping uh, section near the bottom, I believe. So it's uh, that makes logical sense why that's in the background. It, I don't like the checkered pattern, but to me, it looks okay here, actually. It's it's barely visible, and that's the best way to use it, I think, just because it is so, so, so much of a polarizing pattern. So uh, really good execution here, I think, overall in this jersey, Aaron. Next, the Rangers. Wow, this one is good too. Uh, the shoulders are excellent. A little bit of influence maybe from the away Rangers jersey. The logo in the middle has uh, got some retro vibes to it. Uh, the numbers are a little bit different as well. So it is it is definitely odd seeing that logo on the front of the jersey because they don't use it. So yeah, I mean, an alternate for sure. Okay, next, ooh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Wow, look at this. This is an excellent jersey. I'm just sitting here looking at it, just trying to decide what I would change. I don't know if there is any is anything I would change. I uh, I actually really really like this jersey a lot. Good job, good job on this one, Aaron. Okay, next is St. Louis Blues. So you've got that musical staff there, uh, which the lines just kind of hold the numbers, hold the logo. <sighs> I think the numbers are hard to see because they're also blue. I think the logo is too uneventful. It's very uneventful. It's the second thing that I saw on this jersey. The, well, I guess it actually was the third thing I, I noticed on this jersey. The, the the yellow lines, the staff in the background, that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing was the big giant yellow stripe along the bottom, and then I saw the logo because it just blends in. Same with the numbers. I think the shoulder patch is okay, but to me, just not not a personal fan of that kind of uh, logo there, the way it's done. If that was in yellow, I might like it a little bit more. I just find it a little bit uh, hard to see. Not hard to see, just blends in, I guess, with the background. Moving on to the Tampa Bay Lightning. We must be coming up on the end here now. That is really cool, actually. I love the striping along the bottom. It kind of looks like a river almost at the same time that's frozen over, which makes no sense for Florida or Tampa Bay. Uh, but it is, it's cool. It's really cool. It's a lightning bolt laying down. I mean, it's its really cool the way that that's designed, actually. I really like that a lot. And the logo kind of replicates that as well. But a bit of a 3D aspect to it, a bit of a bevel. This is nice. I think I'd prefer sh squared off shoulders, just personal preference. But yeah, this is that's a good one. Okay, next, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow, I would say that this is maybe Argonauts inspired. You know what? For a text jersey, or for a text logo on a jersey, this looks this looks pretty good. The arms are so aggressive, though. Oh, I, this is might be one of the ones I have to see in uniform. The uniform could make or break this entire jersey, possibly. 
Uh, very interesting concept though. I love these kind of ones that you think outside the box and stuff, very cool. Okay, next to the Washington Capitals, this is almost certainly the last one. I don't think anything comes after Washington. I don't like the shoulders just because they're rounded. I'll kind of say that. Uh, the middle of the jersey is okay. Uh, not one of the better Washington Capitals uh, concepts that I've seen. Let's pick my favorite. I really want to give it to Pittsburgh or the Rangers. Those two are very strong. But I think I'm going to give it to Nashville, actually. Now, there's obviously a couple of things that I would change. Like I said, uh, I would remove the shoulder patch. The, the pattern in the background, I'm not a huge fan of in general, but it was executed okay here. I just like this one because the, the burgundy or the red, whatever you want to classify that in the numbers, really like took me off guard. I wasn't expecting to see that on a Nashville jersey. And I think it complements very, very nicely with the blue, with the yellow. Um, the, the slashed kind of striping along the bottom is pretty cool as well. I think Nashville's kind of due for a bit of a rebranding. I don't know if that logo would be the best option for a rebrand, but if this was a future stadium series or a future alternate or, I don't know, something, I think this is, I don't know, I like the outside of the box kind of mentality on this one. So Aaron, this one's my favorite. And of course, guys, let me know down below in the comment section, what was your favorite in this, in this video? Uh, there's only 16 to choose from, so I guess your choices are a little bit uh, less than normal. Usually we look at a full series from the NHL, but I just thought this was a cool one to put on the Friday, Black Friday, Thanksgiving weekend, lots of people spending time shopping with their families, so just a quicker video for you. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. I'll talk to you soon. Adios.